is announcing a major disaster. They've been bracing for what they are expecting to be one of the most catastrophic fisheries collapse in the history of the Klamath River. The number of fall Chinook salmon predicted to return to the river this year is the lowest on record. That's according to the tribe. The result of two consecutive disease outbreak in the young fish, among other factors. With around 11,000 Chinook predicted to return to the Klamath this year. The tribe's 2017 allocation set by the Pacific Fishers Management Council is 650 fish, which is one fish for every 10 tribal members. That's big right there. Wow. Chairman Thomas O'Rourke Sr. responding today saying, quote, This is a nightmare. I have never in my life dreamed that it could get this bad. Adding, quote, that this is devastating for our people. It's saddened and hard to believe, end of quote. The bleak forecast is expected to bring real consequences for the Uruk people. On a shallow side channel of the Klamath River, two U.S. Fish and Wildlife technicians scoop small fish and vegetation out of a floating trap. The fish are carefully placed in five-gallon buckets, and the plants casually tossed back into the river. Well, these are Chinook salmon. Uh, we have a mix. There's suckers, which are native. Biologist Steve Goff has been overseeing fish sampling on the Klamath. we got a number of dead fish. Some of them are from disease. Um, some of them are, look like they've been ravaged by a lamprey. It's the disease he's worried about. More than half of the three-inch long Chinook are either dead or showing signs of a serious parasitic infection called C. Shasta. Goff says the fish likely picked up the parasite at a hot spot just a little ways upstream. They were most likely infected and on their last fin floating in. Sea Shasta is naturally present in major river systems throughout the Northwest. But this year, the Klamath River has been like a tropical resort for the parasite, warm and lazy with a steady buffet of Chinook. Biologists warn that a fish kill is likely to occur. June is critical for the young fish, says Alex Corum, a biologist with the Karuk tribe. What we really want is for them to get out of the river before it gets too warm, but some fish just aren't growing quickly enough for that to work out. And the fish keep coming. In the past few weeks, the Iron Gate hatchery released more than 5 million juvenile Chinook, the backbone of the Klamath salmon fishery. Biologists believe few will escape infection. Many will die. More water would help the situation. But aside from rain, the only place that water could come from is here. Well, we're standing at the Link River Dam. Bureau of Reclamation Manager Therese O'Rourke Bradford walks along the low dam that controls water flow out of Upper Klamath Lake in Oregon. A nutria scurries out of the way. Water is extremely restricted. It's restricted for the fish, whether it be the suckers or the salmon. It's extremely restricted for the irrigators. The dam is there to serve Klamath Project irrigators. Because there's no snowpack, the farmers are only slated to get about half the water they need. The Bureau is required to release a minimum average flow to keep fish alive, but when biologists requested additional water to help with the parasite, Reclamation said no, they didn't have enough. O'Rourke Bradford said they will consider future requests as they come. It's not something that we make a decision and we put it on the shelf. We are literally meeting every single day, talking about fish, talking about irrigation, talking about the needs every single day. In case those daily decisions don't favor salmon, agencies downstream are planning for the worst. In the event of a fish kill on the lower Klamath River, uh, the, the Yurok tribe would be the lead. Uh, so we'd set up a command post. On a breezy bank of the Salmon River, a Klamath tributary, field technicians are being trained on how to respond to a mass die-off. Weighing on everyone's mind is the death of an estimated 70,000 adult Chinook in 2002. California fish and wildlife biologist Sarah Borak says everyone was blindsided by that fish kill. But this year, they're prepared. Now we can see it building from now. We, we have an idea. If we don't get water this year, we could be in a world of hurt again. Of course, once a kill happens, no preparation in the world can bring those fish back. I'm Jess Burns, reporting on the Klamath River.